my view is if it's a private space, if it's a private club, if it's a private institution, then you have absolutely all rights to discriminate against anyone you want. You can just be a gay men's club, no straight men allowed, women's club, no men allowed, that's absolutely fine. When it becomes a public meeting, when it's advertised to the public or you have a speaker from outside the university, then I think it's a problem if you discriminate and if you say women must sit here and men must sit there. So as long as it's a private institution, you can enact any form of discrimination you want. As Hannah Arendt said, the freedom to discriminate is a central part of the freedom of association. So I, I completely agree with that. My problem with the, the new feminism on campus is that it is driven by victim culture. And it's your driven problem is by... That your problem is full stop with feminism. Your yes. history, actually. And I think I, think I want to... Let's talk about feminism. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Can we do that? Let's do it. <laughs> right. Let's do it. Bring it. Because, you see, your... Let's talk about Satanism. What? What does that even well, let's mean? start with feminism, and then let's see where we <laughs> and go. And then we'll move on to Have Satanism. that branded on your brains, my friends. Bring it. Come on. Okay, my, problem is with, my problem is with new feminism. And what I mean by no, new feminism... your problem is with feminism. No, you, my your problem, problem is with feminism. Your problem is with feminism. Stop telling me what my problem is. Right. I'm trying my to problem problem is with you. You. <laughs> your problem with feminism. <laughs> okay. Because... And can I just... Because mm -hmm. it goes to the heart of this issue. Right. Let me just... Briefly, because actually Brendan was responding. I know what my problems are. I, I should be allowed to... Right. Let, let Brendan finish, because you were you're in the middle of making your point. You said your problem with the new, my the new problem, feminism, whatever that is, is... I'll talk to my you, problem, actually. And my then we'll problem, get everyone to respond, B. Go ahead. My problem... <laughs> My problem with the new feminism is that it's driven by a victim culture. Now, the, the second wave of feminism in the late 60s, early 70s was driven by an idea of autonomy, an idea that women were capable of negotiating public life without needing the assistance of, of men or institutions or anything else. What you have now is, a new, what you have now is a new and feminism. And pillage. No, let, let him finish. What? Why? What you have now is a new feminism which is entirely about presenting women as incapable of negotiating public life, no. incapable of seeing offensive adverts, they do negotiate incapable, life. incapable of seeing page three, incapable of being at a university and, and being chatted up and being asked if they want to go on a date. My I mean, problem with the new feminism is not that it is. is a war on men but that it is a war on women, and it calls, into question, it calls into question the capacity of women to negotiate public life on their own. Can the I reason just, I mentioned... No, no, hold on. No, no, the reason I mentioned... No, 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 the reason I mentioned... The reason Let's I finish. mentioned Satanism, go. which may have struck many people as ridiculous, <laughs> is because in the 1980s and the 1990s, there were a whole swathe of feminists, including Miss Campbell, who argued that Satanism was rampant, child abuse was rampant, women were being raped left, right and centre, and yep. my personal view, my personal four. view is that that contributed to the very victim culture that has been carried on by students today. So this victim idea, culture. this idea that there is a chasm-like difference of opinion between these two groups is, in my view, false. Okay, let everyone can I just, respond. Can I just yeah, ask Brendan? First, then be right. in and but How much feminist theory have you actually read? Do you Too know much. what you're talking about? Too much. No, no, no. You haven't. You've, you've looked at the media, you've picked out instances, but have you actually read any feminist theory? Because if you yes, had, you would not see that there is the, the so-called victim feminism. It, it's a tiny minority well, of the broader strand what of feminism. What do you mean by victim? What does that mean? What do you mean by it? Can you break if that down? If only we knew. Because I don't knew, understand what, what you mean well, by that. I Try and briefly explain it. No, victim please. feminism. No, don't, don't. No. Because you're making no. it up as you go along. I think, Are you serious? I think, yeah, no, wait, I am serious. No. Do you know? Victim feminism is the idea that women have an inferior form of autonomy to men, which means that public life needs to be rearranged in order to f make sure that women aren't offended or that their self-esteem is not damaged. And that, to me, as a humanist, I find that an offensive right. idea. Which, which feminist theorist wrote that? Excuse me? Which no, feminist no theorist wrote that? Wrote that. <laughs> Every single... Bell Hooks. 
It's even in the works of Germaine no. Greer, the later works of Germaine Greer. No, it's it's in most Mate. of the new feminist theory. Right, well, the... I'm going to say is now, it mine? as someone who did women's studies okay, for right, one people, right, right, okay. most right, people right, here won't have read a lot of feminist theory. Okay. And, it's ir- and I don't think it's directly relevant to get bogged down right. in who's read what. I think the idea of how we operate as a society and our attitudes is what we're discussing in, in the context of universities. So I want everyone else to continue responding to you. It's really strong points, and I think it's important people respond to Baha, you know. I was just, well, I mean, it sounds to me, like, when you say victim feminism, which I, I, I don't know where you've plucked that from, it's really strange, um, it kind of sounds like what you're assuming is that, like, women have had no part in, like, in the kind of negotiation of how we, how we envisage our liberation, as if, like, someone on a pedestal somewhere has been deciding what feminism should look like. Um, but actually, this is the, re- this is, and this isn't, I don't, complete, I don't completely disagree with you on that either. Like, I, I don't particularly want, like, w- like, the white kind of mainstream, like, feminism that's, like, kind of very seeped in, like, colonialist kind of, like, imaginations of, like, what women's liberation looks like to kind of be, describe my experiences as a, as a, as a woman. Um, this is why we need, like, safer spaces and autonomous spaces and caucuses so that, like, people who are affected by those, like, by those, um, by structural oppression, by like sexism and racism and misogyny and trans misogyny, can actually like negotiate the terms of our liberation. Negotiating it on their own terms, that's the issue, isn't it? Where the university students have a right to define for themselves Mm -hmm. what they think is acceptable and that they can redefine it. Yeah, but the problem is that that has a knock-on effect on other students who are not permitted to say certain things. Now, I think there's a real double standard here. So we talk about the right of feminist societies to have women-only meetings or or black people-only meetings, and I support their rights so long as they are private meetings. But then you have this war on... For example, rugby clubs or lad societies or these kind of laddish, stupid laddish parties that young 18-year-old boys have when they go to university. So you can't have this double standard of saying that it's fine for BME societies to have these meetings at which only they are allowed to attend and everyone else can frig off, and then say that these other groups, these working-class men, are not allowed to organise in the way that they want to. Can you give an example of like a a rugby rugby club? London School of Economics. The rugby club has been banned, and people are now standing... These young lads are standing in the streets with these Maoist signs hanging around their necks, saying, I'm a good lad because I accept gender theory. When you have No, but tell us about why, because there was an incident, Because they had... They published a leaflet which had offensive words on it. Now, if we're they were encouraging about... people to rape women. They were. They, oh come yes, on! They were. Are you serious? They were, they were talking about getting women drunk enough to not be able this to is, say no. This is That's... this is untrue. They I think wrote... there was a real issue about right. I'll, I'll tell you the what behavior it was, because towards women in that leaflet. They wrote a leaflet. In, they they handed out a party leaflet in which they used the word mingers and they used the word homos, I think, or queers or something like that. Right, we're here to talk about freedom of speech. I want to know if this panel supports the right of a rugby club to issue a pamphlet or a leaflet with the word mingers on it. Well, is it the mingers or is it the other word that, you know, I think mingers under is, law, you could argue that Do you one support of those the right of a rugby club to use illegal. the word mingers on a public leaflet? Yes or no? Well, not if I'm paying for it. Well, there you go. These uh, guys don't uh, believe no, in no, freedom no. of speech. Student unions are funded partly through taxpayers' money. Brilliant. So, uh, no, I don't want to pay for that. They're quite entitled the, to pay for the it themselves. Discuss- this is the end really of the discussion. No, 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 Brendan. This is the end of the discussion. We no, can Brendan, all go no, Brendan, Brendan, I said they're quite entitled to pay for it themselves and publish it. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't like it, but I don't want to pay for that. I don't want to pay for offensive words. To be, why should I pay for offensive words to be met? Ma- it's an issue printed. behind it all about privilege, dare I say it, and particularly the idea that what's considered a neutral... A logical position is often that that has been taken traditionally by white privileged men who then who aren't the ones who get leaflets written about them with offensive I mean what are the offensive terms for white straight men compared to the offensive terms for women for gay people lads, you know for black people lads rapists lads rapists oh my god I'm sorry I'm sorry but like rapists I mean it's, 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 it's not endless. every man is called it's actually, rapist lads but most rapists women are called misogynist sluts, sexist, sexist. Yeah. Called whores, it's kind of endless I've, actually like, like, so, go on, just say that again um, no I'm just saying most like we played this game just the other day. I played this like really fun, not really that fun, uh, words game with like with some students in which we put we got a bunch of like words that are traditionally seen as like you know like offensive blah blah. blah put them up and we have to like decide whether they're 
um, okay to use, dodgy, never okay, that kind of thing. Um, and I realized that like a lot of the words that were coming up were all gendered and were all gendered against women, really, and also homophobic and also like um, transphobic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There were, there aren't really like there aren't really that many offensive words to describe white men because like there is no like system of oppression that puts down white men. So like, that term where, white, tell me, that tell term, me, tell me what lad means. Tell me where term, lad came from. Tell me how it's white, offensive. That term white men to describe a whole swathe of society which have who have who have vastly different views and which include upper class people, lower class people, middle class people, working class people. That in itself is a generalisation which you would be opposed to in relation to any other stretch section sure. of society. It's a question, no? isn't it? About, if, if there's a question about common sense agree? in here, isn't it about whether yeah, yeah. white men it's, as a group it's, have, are suffering in the discrimination and there are real issues about a, wh um, a white working their class man? A white working class man can, can experience oppression, but he experiences oppression Thank because you. he's working class, not because Brilliant. he's a white man, because he's working class. That's very different. 